Hi, Hi cupcakes. cupcakes! It's Jessica. And it's your girl, Calorie. Welcome back to our channel. In case you guys are new here, this is our weekly segment where we do a live reaction to RuPaul's Drag Race this is season 13. You can count on us to keep you up to date with all the hottest gossip with Drag Race. How are you all doing? Hope everyone is doing well. And before we get started, we wanted to let you guys know that me and Jessica have taken proper precautionaries with COVID so that we can provide this content for you guys. This week, we will be reviewing episode two of season 13 of Drag Race. Let's go ahead and do a recap of last week's episode. So we saw all six lip syncs. They all battled against each other. How wild was that? Oh my God. I, was, I was shook. Shook. I was completely shocked. This is keeping keeping the game fresh. This was crazy. outside of the box. Super crazy. Crazy with the K. So we know that six girls are the winners, and then six girls are in the pork chop loading dock. And at the looks of it, they're already having to <clears throat> eliminate somebody. They are voting all on who is going. And how funny, <laughs> bitch. Like if you were casted, hopefully one day, what would you do in that situation? I don't even. Can you imagine like working your ass off to get to drag race and then you're gone on the first day? Well, that was almost me. <laughs> no, it's it's terrifying. It's, it's such it's such this like gut wrenching moment that happens and you just like feel so bad. Uh, super excited for this week's episode, right? Same. I'm so excited. I'm really curious on what's gonna happen. I kind of have a feeling that whoever's getting the pork chop, I have a feeling they're gonna go meet the winning girls. You think so? I don't know, just something. <laughs> well, something. it threw a twist. It threw a twist because it's like, how would it be to be the one voted out and then have to like face the girls all again? How sickening would that be? Imagine how shook the, when the six girls walk in and be like, wait, we thought we got rid of her. Drama, drama, scandal. <laughs> but cute. I think we should go ahead and get this week's episode started. Let's do this. Chance to return to the competition. But first, you must give one of your fellow queens the chop. Real, real. So, How? What? This is, f this is crazy. Crazy. Oh, they have lipsticks and everything. Yeah. No. They have lipsticks like all sorts. Okay. Talk about a waste, bitch. I'm scared that I could be voted out. Eyebrows. Attention queens in the park top loading dock. The boats are in. We have a tie between Elliot with two T's and Utica. What? No tea, but I really thought the other person was gonna be Joey J. Same, they were talking about her feathers. Oh my God, and then they have to vote again. <sighs> Let's see what happens. My heart just drops lower and lower as the queens pick theirs. I'm... Your heart is dropping like your lace, girl. Lower and <laughs> lower. <laughs> Though. Because the less people here, the closer I am to the crowd. <laughs> These bitches! This is not RuPaul's best friend race anymore, girl. We're season 13, a whole new different race. Now is the time to guard your charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent from the fickle finger of fate. How do you like the season so far? Crazy. <laughs> I want to introduce you to a fabulous queen who will be joining you in the competition. Shut up! Shut up! Hey! No queen is a loser on RuPaul's Drag Race. Victoria Porkchop Parker. Today, she is a living legend. Just ask anyone at the Gulfy Corral. <laughs> Now, Shersha and Banji were the first eliminated from their season. Miss Banji, only to return. Only to return to Puerto Vallarta? <gasps> <laughs> you 
shady bitch. It was shady, but I mean, I'm. you can call me a bitch, but you can't call me a liar. Girl, we're in a pandemic. Let's just keep watching. So let's get started. All right. Time to test your fashion skills for your first mini challenge. First, a ladylike daytime look. And second, a bambi nighttime look that says, I'm a whore. <gasps> Can you pull that? Jessica, are you on season 13? Did I inspire a challenge? Oh, what? You look like I'm a baby. Girl. I don't know. You look like a baby girl. Come with the room, baby girl. <laughs> Baby girl, baby squirrel. Honestly, I think we'd be, I, we'd probably, we'd probably be like really good for this challenge right now. We're, we're both women of the night. Like, we're, we're <laughs> nightclub queens. We live for being at the club. The Girl, club. And trust us, we miss, we miss our home, our home bars so, so much. Shout out to Effects. You're a linebacker. <laughs> First mini challenge. Do not trust Elliot. Elliot is a spy, honey. Oh, keep your friends close. Keep your enemies close. The spy on what, girl? What is the spy on? In the past seasons, when girls come in and they instantly say, oh, my mom was on this season, whatever, this season, they usually go home early. Do you think that's going to affect you? No. No? I'm so excited. <laughs> Category is daytime drama, mama. First up, Nick. Hey, cute. Show you guys this. Okay, come on, Sky. She's showing them diversity. Can you use? Rock me, Mama Dayas. Mama Dayas? Mama Dayas. I am excited to walk the runway because this is where I give that bitch girl can be fashion for and I'm hoping it's cool. True, you go, girl. Come on, thick up. Don't bring me. Ooh. The braid, the braid, the braid, the braid, yeah. Bitch! I know you did not just trip on the good people's runway. <laughs> Do not fall, Mo. Do not fall. Olivia Lux. Mm. She looks at life with oh. lilac colored glasses. Oh, that's okay. Now, full body is cute. Yeah, you, know, you can tell a lot about a queen by the size of her purse. I'm on you with those kind of outfits, <laughs> bitch. I fucking hate them. They just move. The circus is in town and she's the big top. Bitch. <laughs> I love it. Tina Burton, she got my kettle boiling. Oh, in my you. daytime look, I'm living my Carrie Bradshaw fantasy. Give me a bird phone. I get a bird in her phone. Yes. Give me a bird. Oh, it was two teeth. Bitch. She got that raspberry beret. Ooh, nice. bitch. That's cute. Oh, yeah. Better, bitch. You look like a whole fucking cavity. Oh, too many sweets. Too many sweets. Oh, bitch. Everything. I went wearing. Olivia her hair is very that show shenane martin martin lawrence the, that show i take that back not shenane <laughs> the girlfriend that sexy girl his girlfriend that he had Okay. That's who she's giving me those vibes, yeah. girl. Your age is showing, sis. <laughs> oh, we're coming way too much for the big Oh. What's the big got to do with it? All her exes live in late death. Tina Burner, available only on final. Elliot with two teams. And Michelle's <laughs> This Miss Elliot with two teeth is exactly what we needed from you. This is what she should have walked in with. Well, that's it. Show's over. That's it? Those nighttime looks so big. Sis, what is your favorite part of de-dragging? Taking off eyelashes. Yeah. That's my favorite part. For me, it's taking off my titties. Girl, she carries them all night. And she ain't got them all right now. That's because she's a baby girl. She's a baby, baby girl. girl. <laughs> baby girls ain't got big titties, bitch. 
I can't! Oh my god, I can't! I just can't! Yeah, and that's the thing though, like, I respect everyone, I give everyone a fair chance. But if you're trying to Is she me, putting makeup on after me dragging? Out of my damn business. And for your first maxi challenge, you need to perform a new show-stopping version of my song, Congratulations. Composing, like, yeah, so I play the piano, but I also write music. Okay. Lady Lux, you have the most amazing smile. I'm calling you now, Miss, Miss Congeniality. Hey! Remember, these lyrics are going to chase you around for the rest of your life. And that's so <laughs> I'm Roxy Andrews, and I'm here to make it clear. <laughs> I know you love me, baby. That's why you brought me here. <laughs> I'm the redheaded stepsister. I need to do She's a job because I cannot be sent home. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she was so serious. <laughs> this is his the cover girl. Me and you trying to figure out who's doing choreo. <laughs> I don't want to take charge when I literally just walked in. So I'm trying to just sit back, let girl, these girls figure it out. Girl, get your moment. And girl, I'll take it. Wow, it's a moment. I've been like putting my like, yeah. hand down and maybe I should put the hand on the waist. Yeah. And yeah. one. Sounds like a fierce Friday in the group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you a dancer now? <laughs> All of a sudden, Ju hey, Julia. Got me. Was born a girl, baby. I did not know that I was going to have to <laughs> have all these girls oh. hear about my gender situation before I can even talk to them. I'm not worried about stuff, but I don't know what I'm Filming! Boys, can you please stop? We're trying to film. Yeah, let's start with Elliot, what happened after that? The way to feel Actually, the whole green look. Um, friends, family, fellow Kardashians. If you guys want to, throw some emojis down in the comments and give us some inspiration for our next week's look. Yeah, give us, give us some ideas. Give we us want, some we want some ideas to be able to challenge ourselves during all of this. We want to be able to give you guys what you guys want. Yeah. First off, unanimous. She got eliminated by Tina Burnham. Boom. Oh. And then you let other eliminated girls eliminate you again, sir. Bitch, you got eliminated three times at the beginning of the season on the first episode. <laughs> Did you see my makeup? Oh my god, it was so gorgeous. I love your, I love your makeup. <gasps> Thanks. I love the star. I took the star from inspiration for you last week. Mm. In case you guys haven't seen, we have our our Keeping Up with Drag Race episode one on our YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check that one out. I took inspiration from Miss the Tits of Albuquerque. On the runway, but really the category is oh, the men. <laughs> you stay. stay. <laughs> Mother, do you want to be I sleep with Oh, I think I have like a couple. Oh, I think it's It's time for the season 13 debut of Contragulations. I love her look. Come on, come on, No titties, sis. Like a whole Ferrero Rocher, bitch. I want to eat you in one bite, okay, bitch? I think it's Olivia Deluxe. I am serving a Schwachter Lily Goddess, honey. You see that little Lily on my shoulder? It's trickling down. Old Hollywood portrait painting, honey. Old for sure. I bet she saved up and bought that. Oh, said that you out. Oh, yes, bitch. Oh, I was a brave alone. Tina Burner. Oh, I know her. She's a friend of Dorothy. Hey. Ellie with two teeth. It's Ellie with two teeth. Steal your man and go out for drinks after. Girl, you ain't stealing my man with that dress. <laughs> my man's safe. 
I would say Gutmick and Tina Burner. As tops? Yeah, <laughs> no? I'm pretty sure they're both bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> I think my tops are going to be <sighs> Gutmick and Simone. Bottom though, what do you think? I wasn't a huge fan of Olivia's mm. runway look. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really it's don't. Hard. It's, it's hard. so freaking hard. Especially with just six girls. It's hard to, it's hard to choose. I They're mean, all so good. Yeah, I feel like everybody did did a good job. You got the lovers, darling. You got the poppers. We're ready to go. <laughs> that's good advice. And that's good advice for all the girls. Poppers? Poppers, yes. yes. Oh, that's oh, your oh, favorite thing. Oh, I got it right. And I will deliver it. Candy Muse from the Brizongs. I love that she has this body positivity and shows it off, but I think the jury's still out on the um, aesthetic. Candy gives me a round the way girl, but go rough around the edges. <laughs> okay, yes, I get it. The aesthetic's not great. And like, I didn't understand what she was saying when she was rapping. <laughs> but why? Because she a big girl? Welcome back, ladies. Based on your performances in fashion show and on the main stage, I've made some decisions. Olivia Lux. Simone. Congratulations, you are the top two queens of the week. Yes! The rest of you are safe. They're safe? Are they going to do a lip sync for your legacy? Let's watch. You win a cash tip of $5,000. That's so many McDonald's hamburgers, oh bitch. That's the a couple chicken nuggets. <gasps> oh my god, I'm Dua Lipa! Oh my god, why did they get to lip sync to that? Yeah! Olivia, Olivia, pants down. Ladies, I've made my decision. Simone, you're a winner. Hey! Congratulations, queens. More twists and turns are just around the corner. More? But if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen? Up Can I get an amen? Amen! It is time for our segment called Creamy or Crunchy, where we discuss the runway from RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. Creamy means it's spreadable, and everybody likes creamy peanut butter. And crunchy, it's not so spreadable. First up is Got Mick. Creamy. Creamy. Hands down. Creamy. Definitely. Creamy. I wanted to spread that shit all over my fucking bagel. Next up is Candy Muse. I'm gonna go with creamy. 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 Yeah, she looked so freaking good. Ha hashtag body positivity. And she is rapping for the big girls. <laughs> Next up, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, Miss Lala Ree. Creamy. Creamy, same. She looks like a chocolate edible goodness. I just wanna eat the bitch. B Next up is Miss Olivia Lux. I'm gonna give her a crunchy. I'm gonna go with crunchy too. It was a little too matronly <sighs> for me. Next up to the stage is Miss Simone. Creamy, hands down, bitch. Creamy. Hands down. Same. Creative, with the K, of course. Okay. Next up from New York City is Miss Tina Burner. I'm gonna give her a creamy. Creamy. Yeah, it the was really good. Concept, concept was cute. It was like a tough creamy though. Like it's your peanut butter was in the fridge and like you try to get a butter knife, but it just wasn't like <laughs> that spreadable. 
but like you got the job. Guys, you know, another bar made up. The girl all the way from the lucky city, Las Vegas, Nevada, Elliot with two T's. I'm gonna give her crunchy. Crunchy. It was just a little too dated. Old school drag. Yeah. And not even in the sense of like good old school drag. It was just very dated, like you said. Or is that shady? No, not at all. We have, we have good lighting, girl. It's never shady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Keeping Up With Drag Race with the Kardashians! If we made you laugh, we made you giggle, please join the Kardashian family by liking and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload. You don't want to miss one of our videos. And if you guys would like to keep up with us, on the regular, you can follow me at Cal Kardashian W on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And you can keep up with me, Jessica K. Daniels, at Dimples on Deck with two Ks on Instagram and Damn Jess 13 on TikTok. Loving you guys is easy. Keep it cute. And, and remember, remember to always keep it Kardashian. Kardashian.